Huh. Here I am back at the Santa Lucia Mall. And I'm here at the Jollibee, and I can definitely say this experience has been a tad bit different. Today, what did I order? I ordered a chicken sandwich, which offered a nesty iced tea and jolly fries. Today I can say, I don't know. I don't know if this is the best experience of Jolly Bear I ever had, because I tell you, this was one of the saltiest fries I ever had in my life. And I decided to bring out the camera because I was like, you know what, let's explain your experience. Why not? So as soon as I ate the fries, I was like super salty. And the, the Jolly Bee chicken sandwich that they have, it, it seemed so undercooked. Like as soon as I bit it, it was like chewy. I was like, mmm. I was like, is this supposed to be like this? And so, as soon as I'm eating, there was a little deaf girl. So she said, she said she was deaf. She started walking around. And what she did is that she put a card here and she says, I'm deaf and um, something. I don't know if she said mute as well. So she put a card there and I'm looking around. And I'm like, what is this girl doing? So I was like, hmm, obviously she's looking for money, right? So I look around to see if her mom or someone is standing by, you know, looking after her or whatever. And so I, she put it right here and like ketchup got on it. So I went in my bag right here and I took a napkin out and I wiped it off and I gave it to her. And I gave it back to her. And so I, I wanted to understand her story more. So I started to test it. Because when I was in college at USF, I took two years of sign language. So I started asking her questions in um, sign language. And I was like, where's your dad? And she was like, oh, my dad went away. And I was like, oh, snap. She actually knows sign language. So I'm like, I guess this is the rules. Obviously, she's still looking for money, but I wanted to see if she truly understood sign language so that it wouldn't be like, oh, I can't speak, I can't hear, give me money type of thing. So, you know, started asking her more questions with your mom. She pointed to the back, and I was looking for her mom, but I didn't see her, but she kept pointing over there. And so, um, so she pretty much gave me a whole story in sign language. So I understood some of it. And so I went in my pocket, went to my uh, bag, and pretty much give her 100 pesos, which is about a dollar and 90 something cents. You know, no big deal. Um, I don't usually like giving money to beggars at all. Um, you know, if someone's having a hard time, yes, I'll try to help and things like that, but someone that just comes and begs, I just don't truly do that as much. I just don't. It just depends on how I feel on that day or if I have it. So she walked around, so I gave her 100. So what she did is that she went table to table to table, one by one, sat with people, and they did the same story, I'm deaf, I, I don't understand, da da da. And some people gave her change, some people was like, no, just go away, things like that. And so then someone came around and stood right there, and she was a little older, she was like an older female, and she was like, um, we're here doing some um, benefit things where if you can give donation and stuff like that. So I'm looking around, I'm thinking, is she part of the same party as this, this deaf girl? And then I was like, uh, uh, I said, I already gave money to the deaf girl. And she's like, oh, you did? I said, yeah, I, I gave pera to her. I said, I said, tapos na for regalos. And she's like, oh, you speak Tagalog? I don't know. And she's like, you're so cute. She's like, how old are you? I said, like, 37. I think I'm 37. And then she was like, wow, you gave? That's so sweet. And then for some reason, she ran over to the deaf girl and started trying to talk to her. But I couldn't see if the deaf girl was actually speaking back because then the attendants came and bombarded me. And the attendants were like, hey, before you go, can you do a survey? Like, I wasn't even done eating. So she, they had me do a, a QR code scan. And I went to the website. And I was halfway eating my uh, <laughs> chicken sandwich. And it brought me to uh, pretty much the survey thing. So I'm like, OK. So it's like, based on your last or most recent visit, uh, how likely would you recommend our restaurant to your friends or relatives? So I'm like, I can't really. I was like, I can't really decide if I would, if I want to do this. They, they wanted me to serve, they wanted me to do the survey as I sat here, as I'm eating. And so I'm like, I don't know. So I complained about the sandwich, and then they were just like, oh, okay. And I was like, well, if you can wait 15 minutes, we'll see um, if we can make another one for you. But I have to talk to the boss first. So they went to the boss, he came back, and he's like, okay, we'll make one for you. Just wait 15 minutes. And the girl was still here, and she was like, oh, can you finish the survey? I'm like, well, I don't know if I can finish the survey because I don't know how the new one will taste. The new one, I don't know if the first one is truly undercooked or not. 
And so they kind of like bombarded me, and I was just like, what the heck, man? Like, why are you asking for me, to, for me to do a survey before I even finish my meal? So this jollibee is funny. And then we got kids running all around, as you can see, look at that kid right over there. He's running around in a circle. I'm like, yo, this is one of the wildest jollibees I've ever been to. So whoever wants to come to so, so whoever wants to go to Santo Licia here in Cainta in the mall, uh, come to this jollibee if you want, but you're gonna be prepared for a little bit of different things. Another thing that I noticed is that I saw some people with straws, and then I was like, okay. Um, I asked the, the lady, she came by, she gave me my food, and I asked her for a straw, and she came back and she said, no straws. And so I'm like, why not? And she's like, well, straws are only for floats. The floats have like a cap, and they don't put caps on these, and then they don't have regular cups anymore. So I guess they're trying to keep away from plastics and stuff like that, which is fine. But they wouldn't, they wouldn't give me a straw. They said only for floats. Because someone down there has a straw, anybody has a float. But then I'm like wondering, you know, COVID-19 is still in effect around here. And there was um, a hand washing station in the back all the way over there. So I went and I washed my hands with the soap. I had to push the soap. And then there was no paper towels at all. Most likely in the Philippines, you know, you will rarely find paper towels anywhere to, after washing your hands. And so then I tried to use the air dryer and the air dryer didn't work at all. And so I'm like, what the heck? So I went underneath and I pressed on, but as I pressed on, it said, this air dryer is inoperable because of COVID-19. So I'm like, what? I'm like, wouldn't you want the air dryer to work? I'm like, this is so weird. I'm like, what's the problem with an air dryer with COVID-19? So none of the air dryers worked and they had no paper. So I had to like wash my hand and put it on my shorts like this. I'm like, what the heck? But then you allow me to have a cup that's been on many people's mouths and you know I have to drink it like this but you won't let me use a hand dryer so this place is like super backwards I don't know what's going on I know they have the reasons but I surely don't understand the reasons especially with this COVID-19 stuff so I would think that you would want people to use straws to help with COVID issues and things like that so whatever am I complaining not really because I'm I'm just traveling, but I'm just letting you know this place is where it's kind of, yeah. It wasn't the best experience. So when they ask me, I'm going to be real. And I, they're going to say, based on your visit, do you recommend the Central Lucia Mall, Cainta, Jollibee? I'm going to give them like a, uh, they were nice. So I'll give them like a five, a five. Based off of everything that I've dealt with. So a lot of beggars walking around, kids walking around, the food wasn't good, you know, the drinks are really not put up to the top as you can see, you know, and they don't even offer refills, rather on the iced tea or the Coke. So it's kind of like they're cutting back at this particular place, I don't know. So this is a Jollibee rant, and I'm done. So let's see how the new chicken sandwich will look. I'll take that home with me. Signing off. Bonus. Oh, you thought I wasn't gonna do a mukbang? Hit that, hit that. Mmm. Okay, Napo. This is a, another sandwich. Yes, sir. And she. And she. Okay, so what I wanna do is I wanna check. I wanna check to see if it's different than the other one because it, the other one had like, um, not pink, but it was like very mushy. I wasn't sure if it was undercooked. Yes, sir. So let's let's take a look. I'm gonna take one one bite now. Nah. One bite now. Nah. All right, let's do it. It's, all right. it's, it's, fine. it's okay. I'm Haitian. You know Haiti, the country Haiti. Yeah. You never heard of Haiti? You heard of USA? Yes. It's below USA, Caribbean Sea. What's that? Isa, hello. No. Ah! Isa. Perfecto. This is good. Look at that heat, boy. I like it. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's good. Thank you, it's better. It's, it's harder. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. Woo. Woo. But it looks better, though, too. This is better. This is what I like right now. Mm -hmm. Let's cook. Let's go. Cook. I didn't do the survey yet, but I'll switch it to a seven, okay? Yeah. All right, guys, I'm going for real now. Wow.